I'm sitting down here with a guy here, and we're just going to have a little chat. And what's your name? Marty Klinkenberg. And you're a journalist from? Uh, I'm the senior writer at the Telegraph Journal. So I got to ask you, Marty. Mm -hmm. You arrived here Monday. Mm -hmm. You really didn't know. Can you explain the week in prospect from what you heard? Yeah, I thought that the uh, that the first two and a half days were were kind of taken up. If if you look at if you look at the inquest as a movie, I've been thinking about this. Before you can start, if the inquest was a movie, the accident would occur, and then the court case would begin, sort of, you know, uh, following up, following up on the incident, trying to get it to the bottom of the incident. The difference in this in this case is that it's not really a court case; it's a you know it's a coroner's inquest. Um, so I thought that the first two and a half days, on the emotional end, you know there was very compelling t very compelling testimony. Uh, I think that these last two and a, the last two and a half days, I think it's gotten it's gotten more into the crux of the issues. Now what I'll, what I'll say is that beyond all that, that, that I think that, and, and I'm probably going to write a column to this effect, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, or if it'll be Monday, when it'll be, mm. but what I've been thinking about is to me, the party, you know, the more I sit in there and the more I listen, the party, one of the parties that's really responsible here isn't represented and that's the Department of Education because I think that what we're hearing what we're what we're seeing is we're seeing who's you know who is kind of being s is being questioned not sure if held responsible we don't know that really but but it would appear to be that that the onus has been placed is being placed on uh, the the ownership group or the group that owns the van, which we really who we really haven't heard of, heard from. That should be interesting. That should be interesting. And I guess I guess what I really the deep down what I truly have trouble with is I know that they're coming in, and I know. We keep hearing about that the repairs were done to this vehicle, the maintenance was done to this vehicle, the bills were paid using money apparently raised by the student council at the school, right? So here we, so here we have a van that's that's you know we have a vehicle that's operated to take kids to take students to and from extracurricular act, extracurricular activities uh, that take them to sports and I, I'm uh, I'm assuming other things and used by the community I guess as well and that's been registered in the name of a few in, of a handful of individuals which we'll find out this week what we'll find out next week it's registered in their name in their name and so that it can be used to take kids to extracurricular activities. Meanwhile, those kids that are going to, to the extracurricular activities are paying for the upkeep, at least, of that van. And maybe they, maybe they, maybe the funds that were raised by them previously or previous students were used to purchase it too. I'm not sure about that part, but. But the f that the funding, the funds that are used to repair it and maintain it and have it inspected and all those things, those come from the students. So who's missing from the equation right now? Who's missing from the equation is the Department of Education. Bureaucrats from the Education Department. Yep. So you know, to me, it j it just doesn't seem right that it looks to me like the Department of Education is is getting off scot-free here.
But we don't know yet. We don't know who the winners well, are. Well, we know we don't we don't know who the we don't know who the, the winners are. Uh, going to be are, next or, week. Or yeah, we don't know what, yeah, what the witnesses are. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, we don't I, know who the I French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know who the witnesses are. But but I guess in terms of the way, so you know, up until now, from the time the 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 tragedy occurred until now. The Department of Education has almost been hands off. Hands off, not a party to it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be. F I don't know when that policy started. When, when, because I, I know that years and years and years ago, way back, I don't. I, you know, I don't know if it was 30 years, 40 years. School buses were used to trans. Were, were used to transport. Yep. Students. And yep, I remember that. Things, right? Uh, I don't know when it started that those school buses were, I mean, that the, that suddenly those buses, the buses weren't used for that. Somehow or other, some other entity had to be created to take, to take kids. Yeah, away. To things that, that I, that I really One see. One second.